name is Pradeep. Um, Dr. Pradeep Bhaskar from uh, Physics Department, and I'll be teaching you physics. Okay. So today, in this video, we are going to explain on uh, the procedure to find the numerical aperture of an optical fiber. So the theory behind it, the concepts, everything will be uh, taught to you in the class. So this video will just demonstrate on the procedure on how to do this experiment. So if you look at the apparatus, you can just see a power supply. The power supply goes to a semiconductor laser. So here it generates a semiconductor laser, the laser which is emitted here, which is a red in color. It's about 625 nanometers and uh, this is an optical fiber cable. The black is just a protective plastic layer. Inside it, you see the transparent uh, plastic that is the optical fiber. So light travels, this red light that you see on my hand will travel through this optical fiber uh, via total internal reflection and come out at the other end. And it will come out at the other end. So this is the other end. So I hope you can see the light. Okay, the laser that has come. So here. So once it's yeah. Can you see the red light which is falling on the screen? So this screen has so many vertical lines. The distance between each vertical line is 2 mm. So this is like uh, 2 mm. And if you look at the length, this is 0. Then you have 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. So that's like 10 mm. Okay, the diameter of the circle that's formed by the light coming out of the optical fiber is 10 mm. If the distance is, if you look around here, you can see, uh, you can see the reading. So how much is the reading there? The reading is 4.5 centimeters or 45 mm. So you need to write it down. So here this is 10 mm and this is 45 mm. Okay. So 10 mm and 45 mm, the diameter and the length. So you have to do this again, like uh, you, you have to be very careful and move this back until you get the next reading. So I'll just loosen it, move it back slowly until it touches the next two lengths. Then I'll tighten the screw. So if you focus at this screw, this is the screw which tightens the uh, slider. So now the slider will not move. So now let's take the measurement at how much is the measurement. So it starts from 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So now its total diameter is 12 mm. And how much is the length here, the distance between the screen and the optical fiber? So it comes like, if you see without uh, parallax, the distance is 5.3 mm or uh, 5.3 centimeters or 53 mm. So once you take all these readings for different readings, five times. So here now you need to take a calculator. Okay. In the calculator, you see tan theta is d by 2l. So di diameter is 10 divided by 2 times l. That is 2 times 45 is 90. That is the value that you get for tan theta, 1 by 9, okay? So that is the 0 0.111, okay? 0 0.111 it goes. So one, how next you need to get theta. Theta is tan inverse of this. So you go to tan inverse answer equal to 6.43, 6.4, uh, 6. Point, sorry, 3, 4, uh, 0, 6.340. So that is uh, the tan theta. How do you find the sine of this? So next do sine answer equal to, you will get sine theta, 0 0.110. Okay. So this is how you do for the first row. For the second row also you have to do in similar manner. So 2L, 2 times 53 is 106. So D by 2L is 12 divided by 106. So that is the tan theta value. So you need to find tan inverse. Uh, I'll just write down the SD. Sorry, the diameter. Um, okay, one minute, I'll cancel. So B is 12 
divided by 106. So this is what you get 0 0.113. Okay. So that is tan theta. You need to find how much is theta. So tan inverse of the answer will give you 6.4588. Okay. 6.4588. Just four, three, four decimal places you can write. Next, you want to find the sign of this to find numerical aperture. So, sign of the answer equal to 0 0.112. So, like that you need to take for many different readings. So, you will do here, 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 many uh, five readings you will take and after that you will find an average of all the readings. So, the average, I am showing only for two but you will have to do minimum five. Okay. Five minimum readings you have to take. So, average of these two will be 0 0.112. One one one. Okay, that's you have to add all that. I'll just show you how to do it. Zero point one one zero plus zero point one one two divided by total number. So in this case, uh -oh, let me do cancel. Sorry. Uh, zero point one one zero plus zero point one one two. That answer divided by two because now only two readings. You will do more than that. Okay, so that will give you. Uh, the answer is 0 0.111. That's what we got average in there. So you write down your average reading here. Average numerical aperture. So that is how you find the numerical aperture. Okay. So that's it guys. Uh, thank you for listening. This is a short video on finding numerical aperture. So remember the parts. We have the power input. We have a semiconductor laser. which generates laser. Then you have an optical fiber, which transmits the fiber to uh, and make deposits or you can see that uh, laser light coming out on a screen which has measurement. And then there is a scale to measure the distance between the optical fiber and the screen, okay, so for finding numerical aperture. So that's it and this is the slider which will help you to move back. So I am loosening it. And it will help you to move front and back so that you can take different readings. So that's it guys uh, for this video. That's it guys for this video.